Hi, and welcome to this Excel tutorial where I'm going to show you three amazing ways to speed up your spreadsheet. And this is going to be a real world example. The first two tips require changing the spreadsheet a little bit, but the third one keeps everything intact and is the one that I use every single day. And you don't want to miss that one. The real world example here is one sheet with over 100,000 rows and a few columns with formulas. What we want to do is to group data from this main one, very simply copy it and paste it over here so that we can have a nice clean export. And you can see, even though it's copied, it is still thinking 49%, 59% and so on. The spreadsheet is very slow and that's just with copying a few rows. Before I show you three ways to fix this, make sure to download the file that you see here so you can follow along with this tutorial. I'll put a link to it below this video. It's on teachexcel.com. It is completely free. And while you're there, make sure to check out our full Excel courses that'll help you automate Excel and save hours of time. And for those of you who do sign up for a free account on teachexcel.com, you will be automatically enrolled in a chance to win a free Excel course. We are now giving that away to three people every single week, and we announce the winners in our weekly newsletter. The first tip is to avoid what are called volatile formulas. So we are going to go through our data set, look up here and see which cells have formulas. There we go, a rand between, that is a volatile formula. Then we have if in a V lookup, that's okay. Count if, count if, and count if. This guy right here, is a problem. It's a volatile formula. What that means is it changes every time we change anything within the worksheet. So even if I just go over here, double click and hit enter, the entire grouping column will update. And that's for 100,000 rows. So what you can do is to go through your worksheet and figure out if you actually need this to update every single time. This is a simple formula. Maybe we could just remove the column. But if it's part of a larger formula, Maybe you can just replace it with a static value. Now, in this case, rand between actually isn't going to slow anything down, but that's a great place to start. So make your random numbers static and see if it speeds things up. And of course, always make a backup of your source data in case you accidentally delete important things. And now this leads us to our second step, which is to freeze formulas. So this is volatile. Okay, we know that's bad for speed, but this isn't. So it should be okay, right? but wrong. Countif is going to be so slow with 100,000 rows of data. So how can we get around that? Well, we can actually freeze all of the values and we can do this for rand between as well. Freezing the values is simply selecting the cells with the formulas, control shift over, control shift down, then control C for copy, then control shift V for paste values. Now, if we double click, no more formula. We can do it with a rand between as well. Control shift down, control C, control shift V. Now we can copy, go over here. Perfect. Look how quick that was. It was beautiful. But now we have frozen values. The formulas that we relied upon are no longer there. If we change values over here, they are not going to be reflected in the worksheet over here. And that can cause problems. That leads me to my third tip. Let me back this up real quick and get the formulas back. The third and final tip is to turn off calculations. Go to formulas, calculation options, and set it to manual. Now you can see we have the rand between function back. If I go over here, hit enter, it doesn't change. The formulas did not update. Now in new versions of Excel, you're going to see a strike through in all of the formulas that would have updated. That's just to give you a visual indication of, hey, your calculations are turned off. You may want to manually run them just to make sure everything's okay. And I'll show you that in just a moment. But let's first see if we can copy and paste quickly. So I go back over here. Perfect. Look how quick that was. And we didn't even have to change or freeze or delete or remove any formulas. We can keep everything static for now while we group our data and move it over to the other worksheet and prepare it for export, do our work much, much, much faster, then we can go over here and we have one of two choices. We can simply recalculate the worksheet. So we could click this button or hit shift F9 or F9 to calculate the entire workbook. Or now that you're done, you can simply set manual back to automatic. 
which means everything will be recalculated every time you change anything in the workbook. And we can see it's going to take some time. So now we are back to a slow functioning workbook once we have gotten everything that we need from it. Remember, you can download the file in this tutorial. I put a link to it below this video and check out our online courses and sign up for a free account if you'd like a chance to win one of those online courses as well. Make sure to check your email for that. That's all for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and make sure to subscribe, hit the bell icon and leave a thumbs up if you liked it. See you next time.